Welcome back guys to Factorio with me, Massive Dynamic. This is just a quick tutorial on how to make a seven digit display or seven segment digital display uh, using combinators. And this is only for the display itself. If you want to have it uh, do counting, then that would be a totally separate tutorial. But for the display itself, I wanna show you just an easy way that you can do uh, this display and it is manually operated. So if I wanted to increase my number of subscribers from 304 to say 309, then I would set this N to a nine like that. And there we have 309. However, I can't just do that by myself. I need you guys to do that. So, uh, why not go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you can uh, watch the numbers increase in later episodes. But anyway, uh, how this works is uh, very simple. Uh, first of all, you set up your seven segment display like this. With You can set your size however, however you want to. And um, however many lights you have, doesn't matter. You just wire them all together with a single color of wire. As I have, I use green wire all the way around on all the lights and then you divide it into segments. So for me, I'm using, this is segment one, segment two is here on my left, segment three is here, segment four, segment five, segment six, and segment seven here. Now, uh, so each light is set so that if the segment, uh, I'm using the virtual signal of one to indicate segment one. If that is greater than zero, then turn segment one on. Each of these has the same exact uh, code inside of it. And then the same for each other segment. So each segment is numbered, as I said, one, segment two, segment four, six, five, and segment seven. So then you need um, some constant combinators, 10 exactly to set your code for each of your numbers. You can also do letters this way too, if you want to. Um, but what you do here is in your uh, constant combinator, you set, okay, so for A equals zero, as you can see here, A is blank, which is zero, no. Um, so we'll need segment one, two, three, five, six, and seven. Now, if I set this, n to a zero then we'll see if we go back to here we'll see that the one two three five six and seven are turned on with the yellow signal the yellow signal is actually coming from here but uh, we'll see section one two three five six and seven turned on for the zero so if we set this back to a three, we'll set N to three, and you'll see that section one, three, four, six, and seven are on. And if we go to the code for section three, zero, one, two, three is here. Um, uh, that would be zero, one, two, three here. Yeah, A is three. Section one, three, four, six, and seven. Now I put them in, in order like this just because it's easier for me uh, to remember which one is which if I set them in order, but it, these could be scattered all over the place. It wouldn't matter. The six could be over here. The three could be over here. The one could be over here. That doesn't matter. Uh, that's just for my sake. So that's these combinators. So there's your zero signal. If you want to, um, look at each one there's your zero this is what your one looks like it's just three and six this is a two one three four five and seven and i showed you three one three four six and seven and then four is two three four and six number five is one two four six and seven number six is one two four five six and seven Number seven is one, three, and six. 
Number eight is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is all of them. And the number nine is one, two, three, four, six, and seven. Okay, now those get wired with a wire of one color. In this case, I used green. You just have to remember to alternate colors anytime that you're, you have a um, possibility of contaminating your signals, you need to alternate colors. So I went green here. So each one uh, constant combinator goes to one decider combinator. And this, uh, this combinator passes the signal of N. If N is equal to A, it passes everything, everything as an input of one through. Okay, so only when the N is three equals the A, which is getting the A from here, then it passes everything, which would be this, the, all these signals would pass. So as I said, right now, the signal of N is three. So when N equals A, which would be here, N equals A, and that's a three, as we see here, then it passes everything. So you see the output signals there. Now, if I look at the number four, you'll see that we only have the input signals. The output signals are not passing. See, see the difference? The output signals are not passing on the four, but they are passing on the three. They are not passing on the two or the one or any other number. Okay, and then this is just the uh, seven, eight, and nine up here, exactly the same. I just did them this way to keep everything kind of stacked in this uh, kind of footprint. Um, so then we take the output wires. Now the output wires from all of these combinators, as you can see, are green. And they're all wired together. So uh, the red wire is the input wire from the constant combinator. That's an input that goes on the inside. And those are all wired together. It goes from there to one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Or actually 9, 8, and 7. But those are all wired together with the red wire. And then the output wire is green and it goes from all of the outputs uh, to all these outputs and then into all of the lights. And as long as you do it that way, you won't have contamination in your signal and your lights will work properly. So I think that is everything that you need to know in order to build this yourself. I think I've showed you every possible um, setting on every um, circuit part. Uh, all of the decider combinators uh, are set exactly the same. If N equals A, I'll put everything. Um, but they are individual because they only can pass the signal that comes from the appropriate um, constant combinator. So that is all that I have for you in this episode. If you want to see uh, how to make a counter work, uh, then I can show you that in a separate um, tutorial. If you'd like to see that, then leave me a comment and let me know. And if you want to see me add the counter, automatic counter to um, this display, and I can show you all that too. But for now, that's I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.